Have you ever held a newborn in your arms? We see this as a picture of perfect health with no previous history, diseases or assaults. But what if the baby's future health has already been shaped? A pregnant woman spends nine months being extra careful about everything she does for the sake of her baby, like taking proper supplements, avoiding smoke and avoiding alcohol. But there is much more. Professor David Barker was first to tell us about fetal programming. Fetal programming is a process whereby the environment within the uterus at this critical time can have long lasting consequences later in the life of the child, be it cancer, diabetes or heart disease. With his early research in the 80s, he discovered a link between maternal poor nutrition and heart disease in the child's adult life. My name is Sandy Azab and I'm a PhD student in chemical biology. I'm also a mother of two very energetic twin boys. But if you just hand them an iPad, they instantly turn into motionless couch potatoes. <laughs> hey, how are you today? What did you do at school? Hello? Anybody there? This seems funny, but the numbers tell us it is no joke. 32% of children in Canada are overweight or obese. Central obesity, along with abnormal sugar and lipid profiles, is what defines the metabolic syndrome, a syndrome that carries a high risk for heart disease and reduced lung function in young boys and girls. My research is part of a large project in collaboration with health sciences here at Mac. Our aim is to better understand the metabolic syndrome and track it back to the womb. How? We have blood samples from thousands of mothers midway their pregnancy as well as their children at different life stages. My own specific role is the analysis of fatty acids in these samples. These are key molecules previously linked to diabetes and obesity. They can also tell me a lot about the mom's diet during pregnancy. You've probably heard of omega-3 fatty acids. These are the molecules I'm looking at. Measurements from our huge number of samples ensure true discoveries. So in the end, we should be able to predict if this beautiful newborn here is at risk and how can we intervene for a healthier future for our kids. Thank you.